What is up guys, Aiden here from Launch TV and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back at Universal Orlando Resort. Today we are going to go look at the park and go see if anything's changed. Because I know there have been some touch-ups to the Villain Con attraction itself. And well, I'm just going to go around the park, see if anything's different. Let's go have some fun. And now as we walk into the park itself, looking at the front gate, it doesn't look as busy as it typically is around this time of year, which is a huge positive. So, that's always nice to know. Well, I guess we'll see how it is in the park. I'll take a look at all of the park wait times, just so I can let you guys know how busy the park truly is right now. But we'll see. We know Mardi Gras is coming to an end in just a couple of weeks, so we know the crowds are starting to thin out. So we'll see how it is. Now as we walk in under the arch here, you can see that they're still working on the turnstiles up here. Of course, it's gonna be a little bit. It took them a little to do the ones on the outsides, meaning the exit over there and the ones over there by group sales. So little by little, this will be done. But we do know for sure that this should be done, hopefully before the big summer crowds come. But for right now, they're only working one side of the turnstiles and every so often they'll have the middle ones open as well. They were open last time I came and the time before that, but today it's not open. So we'll see. Doesn't look too bad as I'm looking into the park itself right now. All right, guys, and we are now in the park. And if you look over here, the sign for Villain Con Minion Blast is almost complete. The only thing missing here is the end. So very soon, this should be a completed facade. Probably the next time I come out here, this will be done. So this is awesome to see. And also, if you look over here along the trim, this was purple last time we were here. And now it's orange, which really pops out. It makes this thing look glorious. But all together, very excited for this attraction. Cannot wait here. And it makes me wonder, is this really going to be a poster of the Vicious Six? Or is it going to be something else? Because I can honestly see this just being the Vicious Six. Since they put all the other villains on the opposite wall here. And if you guys don't remember in the last video, I did show that. I will walk over there again so you guys can see that right now. And of course, right there is where I was just talking about. We have the poster here for Evil Stuff. Well, not the poster, the sign for Evil Stuff, which will be the gift shop. And it's just a play on words similar to over here that they have super silly stuff. So it's just funny that they have Evil Stuff so it can go hand in hand with each other. But back over here are the villains that I was talking about. And you can see all of them from this angle here. Pretty cool. I like this concept and I can't wait to see the Vicious Six up there on there. Will, will they just be five? because one of them isn't in around anymore, so who knows? But right now, we do know that there will be something of some sort up there. And now moving from Villain Con over to Minions Cafe, we can see that the entire wall is now completely painted blue. I wonder what it's gonna be. I wonder if it's just going to be the wall painted blue or if they're gonna put the illumination up there, if they're going to do something different, but right now, we do know that it is completely plain blue, and that's actually one of my favorite colors, if not my favorite color. I'm a Marlins fan. That's Marlins, basically Marlins teal, so I'm a fan of the color. Sad that the Nest logo is covered up and the back of the Transformers ride is now basically gone, but it's okay. Little things we need to sacrifice for something that will be a very nice experience whenever it's complete. Can't wait to see Minions Cafe when it's done. Like, look right here, you can see it looks like they're going to install some type of windows here. Perhaps, I don't know anything, but right now it's what it looks like, so can't wait to see what it's gonna look like when it's all done and set up. All right, and after leaving Minions Cafe over there, we are now in New York, as you can see it all the way in the distance. We are very happy right now because we got a Mardi Gras coin. Let me try to enhance, maybe? There we go. If you guys remember, our good friend, last time we went to the parade was the guy that was in Monsters and everything, bang on his head. Tried to get his attention, did not get his attention. However, today, I was walking into the park, saw him, he saw me, he's like, hey, yo, you want some coins? And I'm like, I'll take them. So I got some Mardi Gras coins this year. It's been a while since I've gotten some Mardi Gras coins. So, thank you. You're the best. Beat on. But right now, we are going to look back here at the New York Library facade because they have been slowly but surely refurbishing it. So I'm gonna show you right now, the parts have been completed and the parts that are starting to get done. You can see right here, the Metropolitan Building is completed and it looks great compared to what it looked like prior. We come over here to this building and you can see that most of it has been redone. So this whole side where those little wall sticks are there has been completed, but to the left, it is still being worked on. But this, this side right here looks fantastic. So they're really kicking it. They're doing great. And now we move to the library in which you can see they are still 
not done working on this. And I also don't know if they've started working on this section yet because you can see where it's divided into squares and everything. However, this side right here is being worked on now. So little by little, this is going to look glorious as you walk in through the front of the park over there with all the Mardi Gras performers, but they're not there. They're there right now, but they're not always there. But this is going to look really nice when it's all complete. So cannot wait until it's done. It's going to be a fantastic thing to look at from the opposite side of the park. And well, since I'm here, might as well go on Fallon since we do have Express After 4 with our annual pass. And well, it's always a fun ride to hit when I'm at the parks. So let's go race through New York before we see the rest of New York. All right, so it looks like they completely fixed the problem they had when it comes to the queuing for Fallon because now it is set up a lot easier. So one side is for Express and the other one is for regular. Really well done, good job. Behind me here is the new food trucks, well not food trucks, the uh, concession stands. And honestly, I can't wait to see what these look like completely because they look really nice just from looking up and out here. Right now we're going to go to the front of the park and go check out some of the Mardi Gras like actors because why not? And would you look at that? Just in the time of us going over to ride Fallon and coming back, the sign is now complete. It now says Illuminations Villain Con Minion Blast. So awesome to see the sign 100% complete. Can't wait to see what this looks like. It's all lit up at night. So we'd love to see it. And we're here with everyone's favorite Mardi Gras performer. Me? Avion. The favorite. The favorite. Oh man. The fan favorite. Everyone loves this man. I'm Akana. You guys are great. I hope you guys made out to Mardi Gras. Have some great food. Everything's amazing. I hope you guys see the parade. It's beautiful. Beautiful costumes. Just every year just keeps getting better and better. So if you guys haven't made it out, you have about three weeks left. So April 16th is the last day. And I will be there. Be there at B Square. Period. Yeah. How are we silly dancing? Oh no. What do you mean oh no? Uh, I was told you doing were doing the oh no. Doing the oh no? What's the oh no? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> we can do we can do the Jay Squilly classic. The what? The, my Hi, I'm Jay Squilly. Hi, Jay Squilly. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The full name is the goddess Neptune Jolly Squilliam or Jay Squilly for short. Oh, okay. That's my up and up actor name. You know. Right? Fun. I you're done. We're wrapping up. Heard, Just heard. So We're know. doing a silly dance. Real okay, quick. very good. So it starts with a hand up <laughs> and then a hand down. And then you just let your knees go. Up and down. Ooh, wait, wait, that's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah! And the oh no. And the oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> All right, do oh, we no. also want to do a. Here, here, here. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Send it back. Whoa. 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 I lost. Hey. Oh, hey. I don't, I don't think she's coming back. I threw it. I'm sorry. <laughs> We have now left the park and nothing really has changed in the back side of the park over by Men in Black. And then over here as well in Kid Zone, there really is nothing different as well. But just wanted to give you guys a little like look at the current state of the walls and everything. Nothing else, of course. The only thing back here that you can see is the Woody Woodpecker Nuthouse Coaster as well as the Barney Show area, the stage. Oh, that's different over there. So over here i didn't talk about this last time that i was here which was saturday but if you look straight ahead the concrete is flat right there there used to be a planter as well as the dip and dots trailer so really nice to see like it's an open pathway now so it's really cool and then behind that you'll see the walls right there they weren't there last time either it was just trees so they took that all down Kind of sad, but kind of cool as well that we have all this space now. And then if you look right over there, right there, that's Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster. All right, so we didn't do ET. Oh, hi guys, I'm here. But Lexi's here now too. We uh, forgot to inform you guys of the best thing of this entire video. So you're welcome. You're tuning in to Lush TV. Why did I sound Australian for two seconds? I don't know. I don't know. Um, how you guys doing? Uh, we're doing great. Woo! Okay. No, but uh, we're going to go do uh, Men in Black. So, we are? Yes. I'm gonna beat you. You're probably gonna beat me. We're gonna hear it first. Actually, guys, I suck, so it's gonna beat me, but let's go. All right, guys, we are about to go on, and they have a new, like, ride pre show. Kind of cool. All right. Oh, they're shooting! They're shooting! Gotta have a suit up, y'all. Last suit, you'll have to wear. Ayo! Hey, when's it gonna be ready? 
No. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Well, guess what? That's my Friday, so. Come in here. <laughs> now we're gonna go on Gringotts. We gotta put our stuff in the locker. So yeah, everything's in here. So you guys are gonna go away. All right, guys. So we are now walking out of Universal, but that's not the end of the video because we have a reservation to where is it? I just got a message. She's got a message because our reservation's at 9:30 and it's nine o'clock. So your table's ready. I don't know how we're gonna get there, but we're gonna try. By driving. Driving. All right, guys, we are here at Point Orlando. Well, the point, according to Lexi. But we just parked, and we are excited to go to JoJo's Shake Bar. It's going to be our first time. It just opened, what, like? A week ago. A week ago. I had a reservation made, but then, like, we just didn't go to it, so. Yeah. Oh, I just came back from Cuba, too, like, right when that happened, so. We got to find it, though. I think it's somewhere else. I think it's out here somewhere. I don't know. We'll find it. We'll find it eventually, but around this time, almost everything's closed. They close at 10 o'clock. I'm hungry too. Like, I need food. Yes. I'm sorry. That's it. that's what we're that's what we're excited for. Oh, and the milkshakes. So and the milkshakes. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. Maybe Adrian could put a link um, so you guys can check out the menu. Um, but the the milkshakes are kind of like if you guys been to Sugar Factory, then close called, um, except they're cheaper. Okay. So you <laughs> would say something like um, for theme park people, like twosomes. Yes. But cheaper. And we can't really, well, I guess we can go ahead We can compare and, and contrast compare, them too, yeah. You know, if it's worth it or not. But I think maybe it's around the same price because for a shake it's 14. Like, yeah, it's about like the same it's price. Because you get candy, a donut, or a cookie. Like, that's a pretty, you know. It, we'll see the size, we'll compare it. Um, I'm ex Like I said, I'm excited for the food. I saw there's a buffalo chicken wrap. I love me a buffalo chicken wrap. So, and Adrian, he loves mac and cheese. So, that's all mac and cheese and a grilled cheese on there. So, we'll see which one he ends up getting. Probably mac and cheese, but we'll see. So. Let's go. All right, guys, and here we are. It is JoJo's Shake Bar. And we have our reservation, so we're gonna go inside and speak with them. But also over here, it looks like they have like a little to-go window. So it's pretty awesome. But let's get in there, take our seats, and get our snack on. And we've made it. There's also blasting copyright music, so if this doesn't make it in the video, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, for my alcoholics out there, just kidding. Those that love to drink, there are a bunch of cocktails, so this is exciting. And they're 14 bucks. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not so bad we'll for a drink. So we'll see uh, what they got. But yeah. Uh, yeah, throwbacks. Throwbacks. Wait, that makes sense. The song. All right, so let's talk about the drinks. I'm gonna talk about the food here. This right here sounds delicious. The loaded grilled cheese. Guys, they have brunch. They have That's brunch. So cool. So be on the lookout for that too. We're not, obviously, we're way too late for that, but <laughs> they have a whole lot of stuff here. The menu looks nice. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to get yet, so I'm going to think about it, and then we'll come back to you. And here on the back side of the menu, they also have some shakes. Which one did you get? Three's Company? Yeah, Three's Company. So Lexi got the Three's Company, and then I got the Girl Scout, which I have this running joke in my life where I say I don't like mint chocolate chip, but, like, I really do. Or mint cookies and cream, mint ice cream in general, but I actually do. But, yeah, so we got those two. We'll let you know how they look when they come out. Well, you'll see them, obviously. And then we also got the JoJo's fries. It's upside down, but we got the JoJo's fries there. So, pretty cool. But these are all the options they have. Pretty exciting. Also, I love the color scheme in here. I'm a huge fan of, like, pink, blue, like, that Miami Vice. So, it looks really nice in here. I like it a lot. All right, guys. Here's our milkshakes. Mine's the Girl Scout right here. It looks gorgeous. And there's Lexi's Three Company. Well, Three's Company? Three Company. I like that they have little plantain chips on it. It's kind of cute. That's banana. That's plantain chips. That's banana chips. Okay. It's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. All right, guys, and here we have JoJo's fries. And these things look delicious. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna tear into these and I'll let you know how they are. All right, guys, our food is here. <clears throat> That's first bite of the buffalo chicken wrap right there. The buffalo sauce? Much, almost killed me. Oh, okay, it's good to know. Also, <laughs> the fries, they're fries. The shakes are really good though. I'll give them that so far. But here's the mac and cheese. I'll let you know what I think afterwards. So here we go. All right guys, so we just finished at JoJo's Shake Bar. And I will say one thing before Lexi goes on a rant. The milkshakes were really good. The food on the other hand, well. Mm, overrated. 
Um, I don't want to bash the company. I'm not trying to do that. Um, they just opened as well, so you don't know. My my, wrap, my buffalo wrap was cold. Mm-hmm. The mac well, and cheese wasn't bad. Yeah, the mac and cheese it was. It, Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese can't go wrong. Uh, Nothing special, just added chicken but, like, to it. Buffalo chicken wrap though. It was cold. Um, the lettuce is fine. Can be cold. The cheese can be cold, but the chicken was cold. And I thought because the manager was like, "Hey, is everything great?" And I said yes because I just yeah. I didn't want no problems. I I you know zero like, problems, big fella. I'll warm it up and eat it tomorrow. Yeah, we have so. it right here, along with the toppings from our milkshake because there was way too much to uh, like. But definitely. <laughs> So. Yeah, I would go back there and get a milkshake because I want to try the other milkshakes kind of thing. Right. But anything else, I don't think I'd go back there to eat again. So. If I'm being quite honest. Well, today was a fun day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. Subscribe if you guys already haven't done so. And 